Ladies, <clears throat> gentle boys, gentle girls, gentle people of all ages, we were discussing these sick lands and how incredible they are. Uh, I think these lands are super exciting. I made a post about it on Facebook. I will undoubtedly talk about them in cool stuff, my cool stuff article next week. Uh, I will probably go crazy about them in the set review Rob and I end up doing. And, um, yeah, I don't know. These are, these, these lands are amazing. And, um, the thing about, uh, so, so you want to compare these to the Amonkhet cycle of lands, the Amonkhet cycle, like irrigated farmland, uh, which was like a plains and a, and a, and an island came into play tapped cycled for two. Those cards were all staples in standard, you know, um, these literally just these are the first try land searchable try lands of their kind and think about in modern or like wherever how many times you, you you crack a fetch land at the end of your turn you know like it's most of the time because you're getting a shock land anyway so like in modern you don't have like most of your lands you want to come into play tapped anyway because otherwise you take a million but like so playing like one or two of these in your modern decks just to search for them at the end of your turn, like, it's really not a big deal. And if you draw it in late game, you can just cycle it. Like, I don't know, man. These lands seem insane to me. I'm I'm assuming that they're gonna they're gonna be fantastic. This is the first ever searchable try land. Oh, look at that, one of eight. The alternate arts are also great. Yeah, I agree with you. There's no Godzilla alternate arts, you know, but... Oh god, I think he's coming, guys. What are we taking from this pack? Sahili Rai is like Splinter... T Wait, what? <clears throat> Why is Sahili Rai and Felidar Guardian both in this in this cube? What? That's really weird. Yeah, for the combo, but one of them is not legal and modern. <clears throat> so, like, I, I understand why they're both in here, but I, I'm asking why, like, if one of them... Why not put Splinter Twin in here? Because that's for the combo. You can't put banned cards in the modern cube. That's the whole point. So, it's, I'm wondering... <clears throat> yeah, I almost, I almost took a cat yesterday. It was in the, it was in the, we were acting it out. They're legal and modern, not pioneer. That doesn't sound correct at all. Either way. Take me a battle sphere, I guess. I don't know. The cat combo is legal and modern? Like, seriously? Is that true? I thought it was banned. I thought it was banned too, because it's literally just Splinter Twin. <laughs> like, that's weird. Huh. Well, alright. I'm going for it. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. How do you get Gristle Brand into play in this format? Yeah, you pay eight mana. Well, that's something. <clears throat> Maybe Batter Skull? I'm going to take Batter Skull. Are you Neo formed into it with a. Six that one drop? Dinosaur guy? Huh. But I don't think that dinosaur's in the thing. Oh, you're in the thing. Don't know why I left the homestead. <clears throat> you know that song? I'll take this guy. You don't know anything, do you? No, not really. <clears throat> hey, man, did you see this land cycle, bro? Yeah, bro. 
Oh yeah, I showed it to you in our chat, didn't I? What'd you have for what'd you have for Wendy's? I got a spicy chicken sandwich and forty six nuggets. Uh they did not have the two for five anymore. Which is another reason why I won't be going back Thank for a while. You. Dev, Mike did show me the fallout chair. Yeah, it was real sweet. Um <clears throat> I got a hamburger meal. Oh a little hamburger meal and for I got a spicy chicken sandwich. For your tiny little mouth. You got fries? Uh, yeah, I got a combo. Why don't you say you got fries? I asked you what you I got. Said you, I said, got a hamburger you said you got a hamburger meal and a chicken sandwich, right? What do meals come with, Frank. I want it. I want. I want you to be specific, okay? This is just a normal draft right now. I thought he got broccoli. Well, no, I didn't think you got any side because you didn't specify. Why are you like this? Even Chris knows meal implies fries. See? Even Chris? Yeah. Wow, that's insulting as hell. Even Chris knows that. Of all the people who could know it, even Chris does. You're fucking insulting. <clears throat> You're condescending. That's 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 hurtful to, to people, Mike. I'm gonna take Dragon Lord Slumgar. <clears throat> I don't go to Wendy. Wow, now he's being elitist. Uh, I don't go to Wendy's. Thank you well, very much. Their deal is done, so I'm done with them until it comes back. Oh, also tell people the tell people the the incident. Also, like <clears throat> the people handling the food were not. As far as I could tell, not wearing gloves, or at least the people that were handing me the food during the middle of this crisis. So that's another reason why I probably won't be going back. <clears throat> I don't know why I left the homestead. I really must confess. I think Crux of Fate's probably pretty good in this format. I don't think Sahili's going to make it. Man, this was, I got this for the Stoneforge Mystic so that we could play Jessica. <clears throat> But then, like every other place I went to, I've noticed the, like gloves and masks, like Starbucks. Oh, dude, the fucking people at the like, Thai place that I went to, there's like a, a line, like a fucking taped off line where they're like, "Don't cross this," right in the right in the lobby. You can't sit on the couches. You can't sit on the chairs. I gave her my, I put my card in the tray. She took it back. She had a mask and gloves on. Um, oh, Colagon's command seems great here. Um, she comes back, gives me my card, or puts the puts the tray down for me to sign, and then just leaves. And she's like, "Thanks, be safe." And I was like, "All right, cool." And I was like, "I could not be happier." I was like, "This is great. I nice. really appreciate how like seriously they're taking the it, sushi know? place I went to. Which I tried to go today for lunch, but they were out of raw fish, which is really random. So not much to get. But <clears throat> um, it's called Sushi Go. The prices are pretty good, and it was actually good sushi. And uh. They like have a thing like outside where they you just like you can either go to their drive through or you can just walk up and like order it and the the guy is like wearing like a mask and gloves and he goes inside and gets your food and then brings it back out. I'll take this dragon skull summit. Little Woody's scooters <laughs> and red mill. Wow, those all sound like super hipster joints. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh wow, grizzly bristle came back. Just cast that fat daddy. You got a fat daddy. Yeah, I'm just taking it because if we get some shenanigans, man, like. My girl works at the hospital, so same amount of time before I get. Dev, dude, please be safe, man. Not to say you're not, but I just got to emphasize. I had a good run. Good to hear. All right, what are you taking? <laughs> Arena? Olivia? I like Arena here. I want to draw extra cards. Oh, wow. This Liliana came back? Holy crap. I was really hoping for that. I'm taking every on-color signet I can find. <clears throat> Little Woody's is good. I haven't been to, to Red Mill yet. I haven't been to any of those, actually. Oh, Anger? Or Messy? I'll take Anger. Sure. You know what? Just in case. Little Woody's is my jam. Uh, uh. Shell Dock Isle? Yeah, a bunch of. Yeah, you know what? I'll take a Shell Dock Isle here. Oh, look, two signets off color. <laughs> Typical. Typical millennial bullshit. Well, I like Sulphur Falls. There's red in it. Cool, Michael. 
cool. <clears throat> I want fixing for this monstrosity of a deck so far. What about Little Boofy's bo Burger Bonanza? <laughs> You guys think Lil Boofy has the right to make a to to proprietor rest proprietor is proprietor word to open up his own restaurant? You think he's got the capital for that? He's got connects. What could name two? I don't know his connects, man. Wow. Yep. This is what I, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Mike just makes random claims about Lil Boofy's connections. Yeah, and I don't press him on it, right? He's in jail. I don't, I don't give him a hard time about it. I don't think asking him who they are is giving him a hard time. I think that's just clarifying. I think that's a little too personal. Really? <laughs> Maybe you're just being a good cousin and trying to get him, stay, keep him out of jail, Michael. You ever think well, about he's that? He's in jail. Then how does he own the restaurant? You can still own things just because you're in jail. No, you don't get to own anything, Michael. Sure you do. Unbelievable. You don't give up your ownership rights. Maybe you don't. Else takes it from you. Little Boofy's prison burger. <laughs> oh man. I like proprietor better. I'm a proprietor that thing. <sighs> this pack's tough. I like both of these. I like a packy rattles. <clears throat> Ugh. I think it's just ancestral. Oh yeah. Wow, that's this is a high power level card in the vint in the modern cube, man. What's it doing this late? Also, if Lava Claw or Night's Whisper comes back, I'll be glad. But this is a lot of six drops so far. It's the APM noise thing, Kerwitz says. The howls. Oh, is it happening? Oh man, that's wild. Oh, wandering funeral, or do we just want Gilded Lotus here? Gilded Lotus and Gristlebrand. I like Gilded Lotus here. Oh, let's take Pester. Well, what the fuck? Why does Pester my dude in this queue? Kiki Jiki. That's why. A little Kiki Jiki. A little Kikums. Finale seems good. I'm going to take Finale. <clears throat> oh, a Dismember? All right. Which member? A Dismember. I'm going to take Boros Signet, I think. Actually, Shriek Moss seems better at two. I don't want no off color Signets here. Wow, this pack went fast. Well, Boofy's has a great selection of toilet wines. Wow. Don't know why I left the homestead. Dude, I never thought Wizards would print a trike land that's fetchable. That's insane. Israel, are you in the chat? Oh, Packrat came back. Come on, give me that wandering fumarole. Oh, oh, I'll take that. Yeah, that seems good. That's actually better. Yeah, I'll take a disfigure. Yeah, remember Kajiki Jiki? Kajiki Jiki Jiki. Wow, last pick Nivim, is it? <clears throat> that's just disrespectful. What are your price predictions for the that's a good question. I don't know, man. The funny thing is, like, depending on how much Ikoria is... See, like, it's weird because there could either be a lot of Ikoria opened or not a lot at all because of the, uh, like, the lack of pre-releases in paper, you know? Oh, two people say $8. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, an Ashiok and a Grave Titan and a Steam Vents and a Phyrexia Metamorph and a Bear Blossom. Good gravy. I just take Ashiok. This Dex just can't beat that card. I really want I really want a Demir Signet and uh an Is It Signet. We're definitely heaviest black. <sighs> I agree with you, even though I I Bitter would Blossom love to take close. a Steam Vent. Oh, I think Steam Vent's higher than Bitter Blossom. With this monstrosity of a deck. You take me higher. I don't think so. Zealous conscripties. Yeah, it's just another five drop though. Oh, this is a two drop though. That guy's not real. I like Inquisition, actually. Yeah, that's a decent one. We could just combo. Win the game. If the Thassa's Oracle tables, you can. Oh, well, they're both in the same pack? Yeah. Oh, what if we take Thassa's Oracle and then this wheels? <clears throat> I think the inverter is more likely to wheel. That's why I said, what if we take this and this wheels? Because people can actually play this in their deck. No one wants to just play this fucking thing. This will just kill you. 
Murderous Redcap. Interesting. I don't hate Murderous Redcap. Redcap's a good pick, too. But combos are cool. Yeah, but, like, if we just get one, it's just a wasted pick. I don't know, man. If they weren't in the same pack, I think I'd be much more high on it. I think I'm just taking Inquisition here. God, this card's so good, though. I can't not take a Gizel's Conscripts, right? He just wins games. I agree with that. Oh, we did it! Oh, yeah, You could have had the Kijikim Jikim's combos. Oh, man, I hope Chandra or Gonti <clears throat> comes back, but... Or Liliana, actually. But we're taking this Demir Cigna for sure. Making sure we hit all these... Oh, God, here he goes. Running around saying Mao. Mao. I'm taking Electrolyze because it's just very, very good. Our right, deck's looking sweet. We're heavy black, but it's looking sweet, dude. Sure, we have zero four drops. <laughs> um, we do have zero four drops. It's true. I almost want Languish just because we have we saw how many times Languish and, like, Sweepers were relevant. Yeah, it's all about creatures. Hello, Hunter. Hello, Hunter. Um, yeah, I think it's better than Rakdos is in Doom Whisper. Ooh, Mind Shatter. Oh, I like a Choops here, though. Also, Storm's Wrath? Killing them Planeswalkers, too? Dude, I had a bite of my pad thai, and I was like, this is fucking delicious. Yeah, they're... They're, they're the real good. type places I've ever been to. That place is great. <clears throat> um, Fucking pool. I can take Batter Skull out. I was thinking Obnixilis. Oh, I like... Yeah, the fucking pool is real good, though. Dang it, Michael. I think he got enough removal. Yeah, but he draws cards. He's also another five drop. Oh, so we have a lot of card advantage, though. Yeah, you're right. I'll just take the Reflecting Pool. They'll probably come back. Ooh, I like no respect. Heroes downfall. <clears throat> oh yeah, six drop number four, five. I couldn't count there. Magic's hard, man. Clearly. I spent like two whole hours rebuilding my one of my commander decks. Do you even work anymore? You go work. You go work. Yeah, I did have to work. Did you? Yeah. Is that why you're too tired to go? TPO, what's going on, my dude? Is it Dreadbore or is it Compulsive? We just got a, we just got a Hero's Downfall. Oh, we got a Murder Shrider and Hero's Downfall? Let's take Compulsive. Oh, man. Oh, look, the Red Cap. The Red Cap. Oh, man, if we took the Thassa's Oracle, it would have came back. I'll take Red Cap. Oh, we're giving someone the combo, though. Dang it. Not one of those blue cards, one of those black cards came back? You know what? I got, I got a Guild of Lotus and two Signets. I ain't messing around here. I'll take a Crater's Claws. I like having a good fireball. I guess it's 26 cards. What are we cutting here, man? Oh, Rakdos Return? I would take all his dust here, but this is definitely not like the Mono Blue deck. We have a ton of Planeswalkers here. What does Finality of Eternity do? <clears throat> Michael, if you have to ask, you'll never know. We've been over this. <laughs> Which is funny because you said it to me first. <laughs> No. Yes, you did. It's like a meme. You said it. Well, I said it as a meme, oh. like after we've been oh. over that meme. What the hell is that meme? What the I hell is it, that meme? I think it returns creatures to your, from your graveyard, right? If Destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. And then if ten or more, you get all Return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Katie, my love. Hello, dear. Hello. All right, guys, my buddy Israel is actually having me, uh, he wants me to, to shout out his, uh, his store here. So check out the Oxford Gamers Den, uh, tomorrow at five. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube tonight at five, Friday, uh, April 10th at 5 PM, Thank you. um, for 10 bucks gets you in, you get credit to any online vendor you want. Um, and it's a, it's just a sweet MTG Melee event. So if you guys haven't seen MTG Melee, uh, it's also pretty sweet. It's an online platform where you can have tournaments and play arena against other people. It's pretty sweet. So definitely check that out. If you guys are watching on YouTube, it'll be tonight because this will be going up on Friday. It'll be tonight, April 10th. And you can find you can find them at Oxford, Oxford Gamers Den on Twitter or I assume on MTG Melee as well. So definitely check that out.
I love people in chat asking if Katie has made it to Tarantula Island. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has stated this, but Michael seems to be fading from existence. Maybe we need to... No, what you guys have to do is clap. If you guys clap, then Michael will be... Um, you know, people will believe in Michael more. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, it's a it's a clapping thing. Michael has the clap is what I'm saying. <clears throat> huh. All right, so listen, we got to cut three cards, my dude. Dude, when I started remaking my commander deck tonight, I had 136 cards before I even included lands. How many cards? 136? Before I included the lands. Well, you could just play that new tuner commander format. It's called Commander Deluxe. Plus size commander. No. Commander for big boys. <laughs> Am I getting it? But I eventually added 30 lands and narrowed it down to 100 cards. All right, so we have Crux of Fate and Languish in the deck <clears throat> and Finale. Is that too much? Should we cut the Crux? No, I like Crux. Crux we have Heroes Downfall and Murderous Rider. Is that too much? No, all the removal. Okay, we have 26 cards. We need to make three cuts. Compulsive? I'm not huge on Visions. It's really bad late game. I, 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 it, you know what else? It's you know what's good though? Early, early game though. Uh, right, that's the thing. Right, it's not really, it's not really fair. And... Katie was like, "Peace out." Oh, she said, "No, not yet." I didn't even see it. Dang it! There's so much going on in the chat right now, guys. I'm thirty sorry. lands. Yeah, <clears throat> there's only thirty lands, but I also play like forty-seven sources of fast mana. Like including like yeah. dorks and stuff. So. I, I do like that we can cast Crux and, and name non dragons and Silmgar lives. Red Cap's an easy cut? You f you're a maniac. I really cut Dismember. Red Cap just kills all the early guys. Like it's pretty good when you go Racto Signet Murders Red Cap. I'm gonna cut Visions. I think we can use Arena or Compulsive. I don't know if we need both. You don't want to cut that much card draw, man. That's what you need. Do we have Consecrated Sphinx? <clears throat> we have Liliana, which draws us cards. Uh, we have you ever you ever drawn cards off Crystal Brand, man? I don't know if you should really play Crystal Brand. Really? We got it's well if we, if we cut that we're cutting Gilded Lotus too. I think. I think that's fine. All right, that's twenty three. Yeah, I just play like this. Dismember can go here. Shriek Maw can go here. I'd actually try to find a way to jam the Ancestral, but wow. I mean, do we need Heroes Downfall and Murderous Rider? I just play Ancestral and jam forty one. I want to hit <clears> lands in this <throat> deck though. All right, this deck is heavy black. We got like two red cards, three blue cards. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm never going to count this because you never know. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Cut one of these, add one of these. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that seems fine, because we don't actually need blue that early. All right. Let's do it. There's so many new nice toys for Commander from man. Ikoria and Commander 2020. Dude, those lands, man. I'm so... <clears throat> I'm the lands so, are sick I'm for so thrilled about formats, these freaking lands, man. Commander. Uh, the free counter spell for Commander is pretty nuts. I saw that, and I was like, all right, it's got... it had said, it's. I'm like, why does it just say... In parentheses, add white, black, or green. Oh, because it's a plains forest swamp. I was like, Poof. yeah. Someone posted one of those originally, cool. but it didn't have cycling, so it wasn't like a real card. And I was like, oh, it's too bad, it's fake. And then they really came out, but they had cycling in the end. It tapped. Come on, really? <laughs> this is my life right now. Guess we'll go to five. All right, I'll keep this Ashiok hand. Also, the new Simic two drop is nuts. That card's insane. Oh, that one's good, yeah. All your dorks produce double mana. All your rocks produce an extra mana. What's a blue? What's the blue red wheel lord? What is that? <clears throat> what are you saying right now? Michael uh, the knows. legendary. The it's one blue and red. Does. Uh, it's an O three, and whenever you oh that card's nuts. Yeah, and it's like whenever you discard, you draw a card. Oh yeah, me and Rob were talking about that, and we're like, Rob was like, "Is anyone else think this card's nuts?" And I was like, "Yeah." Faithless looting becomes draw four, discard two. Yeah, that's in, that's like arguably better than ancestral. Oh, plus doesn't get pumped. Yes. Uh, I believe every... I don't know if it's discarded or whenever you draw a card, it gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Oh, they're not doing anything? Do-do-do-do-do-do. Well, I was hoping for a signet there, you know? But, like, 
It didn't happen. Oh, jeez. If you crack Lion's Eye Diamond, you just draw that many cards. Oh, my God. That's insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. You, you lose nothing and you get three. Oh, my God. That's wild. Man, that card's wiling out. That might be like a new CADH commander. Man, that's probably competitive enough, right? It's three mana. Is that is that is that casual com, casual com, commander? No. Hmm. Quite the opposite. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah. Any wheel draws double. <laughs> oh wow! They're just <clears> tapping <throat> out on turn three to compulsive when we're gonna go Ashiok. That seems great. Meme time! Oh, Sliver Underlord, you are a meme lord. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what, what's your choice, man? What's it going to be? Control 25. Really? Would you not play a commander format that had, that had like, 200 cards in the deck? No, man. It's already complicated enough with yeah. 100 cards. Really? Wow. Wow. Oof. God, they never... Big oof. Guys, welcome to the first episode of Never Don't Have It. Chris, can that be our podcast? We'll call it Never Don't Have It. Dude, Rob, there's a ton of cube cards in this in the in the set that I'm excited about. I literally just updated my cube like three weeks ago because Katie was gonna visit. I was like, we can we can cube draft when you get here, and then coronavirus happened. And not only did we never draft the updated cube, but now I feel like I just have to update it again for like a million cards. I feel like I'm just like they're just like, hey, you know what? Remember that cube you updated? Get ready to do it again. God, it makes compulsive research. Draw four, discard two, untap three lands. Jeez. Card might be bananas. Did you say <clears> frantic <throat> search? <clears throat> yeah, frantic search is what I meant. I don't know what I said. Any of the cards that have downside with drawing cards. I don't understand what outside. our opponent's doing here. Like, I guess I'll just attack. What cards are you doing these combos with? I mean, if you're referring to the card that it's the new legendary, the blue red legendary. If you mean like, what are you gonna do when you draw those cards? Blue and red has plenty of ways to combo out and win. Oh, they're cracking their thing. Well, we have six mana. We can cast everything. It's been a long, hard day, so these are going to be fast and loose. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I like Choops and the Liliana make you sack both the Wormy boys. It seems these. Or we just play name, I block. don't remember the name of that commander. Um, hmm. I'll look it up. Here's the next one from Underlord, Sliver Underlord. Don't have it. Never don't not unhave the negative of not it. <laughs> You're right. These are fast and loose, my friend. Yes, it's uh, Relay the Everwise. Who? There's Rie. I don't know how to say it. It might it's be unbelievable. Rie. Is it French? <coughs> oh, good. How nice. We can work in right my mind. Super doop 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 doop. Uh, I guess I'll just take it because I don't feel like blocking today. Guess I'll discard a mountain. Wish they didn't have the pro black sword when most of my deck is black. Wish they didn't have a third creature as well. Let's good songs. see if they have a counter spell. They don't even need to counter it. Why not? Or they just keep their worm with the sword. Well. <laughs> Shut up. <clears throat> Dismember. That wouldn't do anything. Ah, Kark's Fate's actually okay. Alright. <clears throat> well, I feel like they're attacking Liliana here. I 
like how they printed two different cards that go infinite with. They didn't <clears> attack. Basalt Monolith. Monolith. <clears throat> did not attack Liliana. That's fascinating. That is interesting. Oh, boy. Do it. Destroy the worm. I was going to destroy the sword because I can't target the worm right now. That's kind of what I meant. Okay. Um, We can get Choops back, too. I'm going to do it on their turn because they haven't used any mana, so... Two new free spells? I know the blue one, but I'm not f sure what the red free one is. Do you guys have the link to Lil Wiggy's GoFundMe page? <laughs> Are you talking about Lil Boofy? I feel like you're being... There's a lot of littles out there. Uh, return a creature, destroy an artifact. Let's get Choops and kill this thing. It's a misdirect for zero mana. Oh, look. <clears throat> Look, they look, they had it, guys. Look, they never didn't have it. Man, this is wild. I guess we're going to two here. This card red cap. Hope your last card's not a counterspell, I guess. Oh, well. That's actually fine. Oh, wow, that's great for us. Yeah, that's... Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Destroy all non-dragons. Oh, they actually put a lightning greaves. That's sweet. <clears throat> that card was kind of getting up there in price. Let's draw a card. Brixian Arena. Well, that's the worst card we could have drawn. Well, now they have no cards in hand. I don't know why they got greedy with that Teferi. They could have played it at instant speed, but... Instead, you... I mean, if they just literally put Teferi into play at the end of the turn, like... That would have been bonkers. Pro Black is insane against us. It's pretty unbelievable. Ah... <sighs> I mean, you just gotta get real early on here and draw a card, I think. Oh, it's a non-token, right? No, what? Why didn't we draw a card? What? Deflecting SWAT. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Oh, because I guess she's not in play? Oh, she no, she's not in play. That makes sense. Yeah, she wasn't on the battlefield. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, overpaid. <coughs> yeah, that's not an MTGO thing. Uh, Misdirect is zero mana, but I think you have to discard a card, right? That's fine, we got Consecrated Sphinx. Like... If we can dodge one turn, oh god, none of these. Look at like we're drawing Murderous Rider like Phyrexian Arena here, <laughs> like at two life. I'm, I think we just play the Murderous Rider as a dude, and then we have Dismember to kill whatever they play in response. Oh, that's pretty insane. Wow. All right. Um. Jeez. I kind of like the life for Murderous Rider here. And, like, keeping up Dismember, like, we want to have a window to actually kill whatever they equip. Actually, she's red, though. She goes up to eight, and then we can just kill whatever whatever they put their thing on, right? Like, we're never going to have life again. If we don't just play this dude, though. Play him as a man. <laughs> play, play the murderous rider as a man. I think it's the right call. Over, mm. like, just plussing Chandra when they have nothing on board? Mm. That's also a fair point. And you're going to risky for the Bisky? Well, I mean, like, there's, like, they don't have pro red, so, like, Chandra goes up to eight. So then we can just negative, like, unless they have an eight, eight, like. I mean, I don't think the, the band deck is going to have a flash creature. 
Oh god, or a haste creature. <laughs> and before questing beast. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would actually cry. Oh god. Okay, cycling sensor. Oh, draw two. Oh yeah, give me all the crads. <laughs> Here it goes. Here comes questing beast. Oh god, this thing is huge. It's Avenger of Zendikar, isn't it? It's crater hoof. And they're just gonna smash your face, dude. I would. fucking amazing <laughs> that's fucking amazing well, playing the rider wouldn't have helped you yeah cool super cool well, I mean, this is a pretty silly card yeah our opponent having it in their deck when we're at two life is also pretty silly but you know So fucking stupid, dude. Like, we're literally stabilizing. We get a six drop Consecrated Sphinx, six drop Chandra. They have three draws to hit a fucking Walking Ballista, and <clears throat> of course they hit it. Like, of all the cards in the cube in their colors that can actually do it, I think it's literally Walking Ballista, Questing Beast. I think that's it. <clears throat> it's really frustrating. I don't like Crater's Claws because they're going to get a hit. They're going to attack us with the with the creature. We're going to kill the creature. They're just going to re-equip it to something else. Like, Yeah, I don't know. What are they you going to do? They definitely drew it off their cycle, too. Well, of course they did. Where else? they? Also, they had, uh, they had the counter spell. They had the Pact of Negation for this guy. So, Force of Negation, whatever the fuck that card's called. Yeah, Force of Negation. There's a lot of free counter spells out there these days. Well, because they all have Force, Pact, and Negation mm -hmm. in their names. Force of Negation, Pact of Negation, Force of Will, Pact of Will. <laughs> Just found Blazing Saddles on Hulu. Blazing Saddles is a solid movie. I've only seen it once, and it was a long time ago. Will of Negation. <laughs> Oh, look. We get to... I didn't even know we had Black Cleave Cliffs. I don't remember taking that card. Packed in William P. Negation. <laughs> oh, boy. Signet, 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 Okay, six drop. Six, sig. It's basically the same thing. It's a very similar word. Come on, let's try to hit a third land. Yep, cool. Easy game, easy life. Seems good. Magic is a fun game. That's a totally skill-based game. Curvaceous Kitty, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub. Sometimes you're too skillful to lose games of magic. What's on the top? Walking Ballista. <clears throat> Your opponent misses two land drops. God, what do you think the odds are they got a... Uh... <laughs> oh, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh man, that was great. I had a good time. I felt like both play both sides played really hard and skillfully. Uh, they made strategic decisions. I have no idea why my opponent didn't take one turn off to kill my Liliana. Seems like a bad idea, but I guess uh, you know you you do what you can. I guess because they knew they were going to get there with Ballista. Yeah, though, even though they actually had enough mana to where right. that wouldn't have mattered anyway, but. <clears throat> like I don't know and then like my Liliana did tons of work later killing all their creatures but you know I guess leaving it alive for one turn was really a strategic decision that you wanted to make but yeah that's okay if you're going to top deck walking ballista and your opponent's not going to draw more than two lands then I mean you could do whatever you want basically 
Oh, what up, Case? Good seeing you, my dude. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I am dead inside. I just killed my opponent with their own show and tell by putting in Scroll of Fate. I don't know and manifesting a dread. I have no idea what any of those cards mean. <laughs> I think Pack Rat? Joke's on you, buddy. I don't even care about that stupid idiot. Well, we got two blue cards here. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, man. Reflecting pool. You're a real piece of work, dude. Scroll fate. Manifest a card from your hand. Oh. <laughs> I just want to put their own chance by putting it what does that mean? How does that... What? What, what, what? Oh, good. A card I can never deal with. And not a blue land. That's... This is really all I could ask for. Or a blue signet. Yep. <sighs> I'm gonna take out a black source and put another blue source in. Oh, I see. You put the Dreadnought in as a Manifest card, and then you flip it. Creature or Planeswalker, huh? Well, they don't have that. Nor do I have anything to cast. Wow, this deck looked insane. And then, uh... You know, mana issues, I guess, so that's cool. Yep, you got it. One, two, three, four, five. Enjoy all seven manas of, of all the colors. They have like three cards. Six drop. What we got? One, two, three, five. Oh, dang it. I thought we could play a spell. It was only turn. It's only turn five. I can wait. I'll wait till turn six. I was getting greedy by trying to play a spell on turn five. Thank you. I should just play one on turn six. That was my bad. Spicy jalapeno. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Shriek Black Can't uh, Black Creature got it. <laughs> I got Elder Born. Oh, it's yeah. fine. Fine is a a word. Well, let's see if they That was a good draw. Or we can Liliana make him sack it. I'd rather have this though, because then it's like one turn. Get it back. That's what I'm saying, my dude. I mean they're gonna have they're gonna have packed of force of negation. Oh, there's drawn seven. Let's see if they hit it. They didn't. Hmm. Goodbye, fat fatty brand they're only mm. at five Chandra could just kill them what they're, they go to four they're just gonna kill them with Chandra and electrolyze that's wild man also oh, Chandra's uncountable right yeah Oh, yeah, I totally forget. I always forget that. I think I've literally tried to counter the Chandra before. And not, like, tried, like, hey, can I counter it? And they're like, no. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll take my counter back. Like, literally, it's on the stack, and I, I cast a counter spell in Magic Online or MTG Arena or something. Okay, sure. Don't care about that. All right, so you're negative two to get a vampire. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got it. A vampire. What is this now? What else are you doing? <laughs> cool. You got it. Joke's on you, buddy. Why'd they bother casting Soren? They could have got rid of your whole hand. Right, I don't know. I guess because they're at four. But then, like, they have so much less pressure if they just get rid of my whole hand. Oh, yeah, getting back their Grizzlebrand is literally the point. Look, look how many demons they got. So many demons. A 
player on days. Why? It's a joke, man. It's a fucking meme, right? God. So here's the thing. They have no pressure, and we can actually try to kill this. We can kill this right now. Because if we plus, they actually go to two. They're going to plus Soren to give lifelink. They go to back up to five. Hmm. Yeah, eventually the Shonda will get there, though. Eventually what? The Shonda will get there. But I guess it doesn't really lose too much by killing their thing. Well, right, but they're gaining three and going back to the five. Like, why give them that chance? I guess that's true. Because they have no pressure on board. So, now they're at three. And they don't gain life next turn. Not unless they have a hasty boy. But I don't think those colors do that. So. <coughs> oh, wait, they're going to have a... They're going to have a walking bliska, and then they're going to give it lifelink. A bliska? A bliska, yeah. Walking bliska? They're going to play a walking bliska. They're going to give it lifelink. They're going to kill your Chandra and gain a bunch of life. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> That's actually exactly what's going to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Walking blista for eight. Uh, give it lifelink. Shoot Chandra for four. Yep. Literally. Literally what's going to happen. happen. Walking bliska. <laughs> Mike B is a poultry geist. Uh, I'm not cold. I just had this on because I went to get food. You are cold hearted. You son of a Mitch. How dare you talk to me like that? Thank you. Matt with numbers. Thanks so much for the resub. Hey, Mike's, how we doing this evening? I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> all the mics in the build. Oh, here it comes. Um, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, it's. Are they going to things thrive for a bunch? What's even happening right now? Whatever it is, it's not going to be good. Unless it's just some stupid big titan or something. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's like the perfect answer. Good for you. Good for you. Uh... You know what? That's actually not bad. They go to two here? All right, well. <clears throat> Man. Boy, quarantine field? Oh, they're just going to kill it, because fuck me, right? Yeah, of course they have a removal for it. It's going to be like... Doom. It's going to be Doomblade. They're just going to literally Doomblade it. One of the Doomblades. There's several. Oh, Murder Cool. Scott. Cool, cool, cool. A steampunk substitute teacher right now. That's a, I, that's a great compliment. Let me just draw something that kills them. They're at fucking two life. Come on. I've earned this. They've had literally answers for everything. Made us discard our hand. Answer for this. Answer for Chandra and friggin' Eldest Reborn. And it took our signal while they're at it. <clears throat> yeah, for funsies. We're obviously Grixis, so we have no answer to a quarantine field whatsoever. Conscripts like would be nice. Oh, we got Shriek Maw. Oh, that's actually great. Oh, wow. Make sure you choose non-dragons. I was almost... I almost didn't. Yeah, I know. That's why I said something. I appreciate you, man. I'm sure I right. probably drew a mana leak, though. So <laughs> oh, Lord. Spell appears. Okay, okay, we're doing it. I mean, now they have Kirby Tar Pit, so they just activate Kirby Tar Pit plus one Sora and gain four. Yeah, they gain four, yeah. And they're literally at one, so, you know, that wouldn't happen if they had one less life. Or not a Tar Pit. Right, like, but I mean, like, everything works out perfectly, so. What are you going to do? And as long as we can't answer the Tar Pit or the Sora, they can do that every turn and never die from their arena. All right, we're on the mill plan. <laughs> I mean, we're on, we, yeah, well, I mean, we have two very good plans we're on plan here. X. Been all the way through the other plans, all the way down to X. Man, Chandra, I'm oh, crack it, crack oh, it. Please. <gasps> what? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> they could have activated Tarbit plus Soren and attacked for four. They could have went to five and then back down to four and then crack it. Oh my or just God. not crack it at all because you have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have eleven mana. 
How about you just not crack it at all? What? Dude, that was freaking epic. How do they not just shame concede the whole match? <laughs> you just shame concede your whole life, man. What? Can we admit that the first two rounds of this entire fucking draft have not been skill-based in any way, shape, or form? Can we at least agree to that? Like that game was probably theirs. There's like a really good chance they win if they just gain some life. They might even have any lands in their deck to get. Or maybe they just didn't see the line of the tar pit Soren and they just they just conceded. That was their way of conceding. I don't understand. You Either only way, have it's a terrible play. Soren's at one. You only have one mode. You can't negative two him. You can't ultimate him. Your only mode is to plus one. So you look at Soren and you say, the only thing I can do is give my creatures plus one plus oh and lifelink. And then if you can't put that together with having an unblockable creature on the board. And then it's a, like, even aside from all that, you cracked a fetch land. Why would you do this? I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Can you take right back cracking fetches on mono? No, because you have to pay, it's pay, you're paying a cost. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, whereas if you tap a land, you're not paying any cost. Right. That's why you also can't take back if you, if you put a counter on Wall of Roots. Mm -hmm. You can't take that back because you paid a cost. Ah, uh, I did not. Yeah, you can you can take back any mana ability as long as the only cost is like tapping it, right? Like if there's like a, an alternate cost, like putting a counter on it or or sacrificing it, whatever. You usually can't take that stuff back. So technically, I'm playing against somebody and they put a counter on wall roots. They're like, oh, that's a mistake. I can just be like, no, buddy, gotcha. Um, yeah, but I, I mean, only play you can, so right? I'm exactly. Not, not in commander. You want to be that guy in the group that like never also, lets them. in commander, them... technically, the way that would work is like it's not competitive, so you're allowed to take that back. Oh, I'm going to so bring in the hero's downfall. Anyway, but... <sighs> Jesus. I kind of like Shielded here. They don't have a ton of creatures, it looks like. I'm going to take out Finale. I'll take out Languish. Oh, Stone actually might be good here. Oh, it does get rid of their, their, quarantine, their field. quarantine field. I also like Rakdos' return. <laughs> like, they clearly want to make us discard things, so I'm going to make them discard things instead. No, I believe you can take back mana abilities as long as no information changes. Okay, that makes sense. I can see that. Oh, wow. Do I just keep this and hope to hit a land on the draw? Hey, man, you sent me that meme. What? You literally sent me a meme today. <laughs> Horrible hand. Keep anyway. Is... Oh, man. Oh, wow. That's why I sent it to you, though, because I was like, dude, this is me. This is the meme I sent Michael today. Well, you know, I'm on the draw. What was the worst that could happen? Oh, someone clipped it nice. Dude, I did not expect them to crack it. I was like, well, I guess we're dead because they're at one. Watch, going to be four lands. Fucking epic, bro. So now we're stoned not drawing a land, right? There's like no way. I kept this hand because we're on we're on the draw, and any land lets us play Demir Signet into Phyrexian Arena, which should get us into the game, right? Like, that's amazing, dude. That's that's incredible. That's incredible. I really want to know if they cracked that on accident and lost, or they didn't see the Soren line loss. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was fast and good. Yeah, that's solid. <laughs> oh, oh God. Five in a row now is unlikely. That's correct. I agree with you that a fifth land. Yep, because fucking of course. The only way I'm able to win is if I hope my opponent, with their infinitesimal luck, infinitesimal, that's small, with their... Uh, uh, outrageous the word of that. with with their outrageous luck um is actually I feel like shoulders kind of a long shot here i just don't want to put it in the graveyard that's fine whatever man yeah maybe they'll crack 20 fetch lands yep you got it land cool let's just go to game three because this is fucking ridiculous like oh there it was <sighs> exhausting absolutely emotionally exhausting 
I will play first. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll keep it because of the friggin' pack rat. Unbelievable. Oh boy. That's absolutely incredible to me. This is a draft where I look back and, and someone's like, how'd you lose? And I'll be like, why don't you watch the games and it's, find out? Like it's it's almost inconceivable how unlucky we've gotten. Hey Mike, we've got another CH post for you if you're interested. Uh, as long as it isn't long winded as the other one, that was a little much. I mean, I was like ten pages. Jesus Christ! Are we just ratting here? I mean, we have nothing else to do, so I'm pretty much okay with it. I enjoy watching CDH, but I more enjoy playing more casual. Filthy casual. We're running 17 lands and two signets. Like, it, it seems extremely unlikely that we're we're having to mulligan to, to five in game in, in match one, to six in, in match two, not hitting a a second land, like. No, oh, well. And you come in to play tapped, so I can't dismember and make a rat. Well, I mean, you could if you play a swamp. Right. But then, you can't but then I can't, like... Oh, no, I can compulse. I can still compulsive next turn with the... Uh, with the reflecting pool. So we're going to actually... But what are we discarding? You can just dismember and not make a rat. And that seems terrible, though. Like... Because I want to put the pressure on him. Technically, it's a big post, but that's introducing three new creature combo-based decks. It's thick, though. Can you send me that link? Technically, it's a big post. But my name's Michael Big Post. Yeah, the problem with keeping a competitive deck is, like... I had a competitive deck, but, like, there's never anyone at the shop to play competitive, so... I just powered it down to a more... I powered it down. I powered it down to like a... Powered it down. An optimized deck, but not a competitive deck. Powered it down. I hate you. I hate you. I can't, I'm tempted to just to literally discard this, yeah. Can I... Come on. Just do it right. Bop. Uh, you. Bop. Bop black. There we go. Also the retune C D C list I just made might be might be a little too strong for casual. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Sure. <clears throat> I mean we're all in on pack rats here. Like we're just hoping that they They can't they I'm, so I'm hoping they don't have a sweeper because they didn't see anything sweeper worthy in game one, so So they don't have white, so they have to have a black sweeper? Yeah, damnation languish. Christ, this is unbelievable. Because of course you have a languish. Why wouldn't you? I mean, like you saw lots of things to languish in game one, including consecrated sphinx and shieldred, which I discarded. <sighs> yep, I really shouldn't have languish in their deck, but it's just un it's matter. unbelievable. I doubt they even sideboarded. They just look at <laughs> it's a good old durr. Yeah, it's whatever. This draft is not. Oh look, here we go. We get to Rakdos's return for. Three, I guess. You. It's not much, but it's all we got. It's not much, but it's honest work. Well, even if we saw a game when they should have boarded it out. Right, because we showed them nothing. It's generally bad against us. Like, Packrat's the only thing. Oh, and they have Crux of Fate. They have Crux of Fate and Languish in their deck. Meanwhile, I took, I took mine out because... I left Crux of Fate in because they showed us both Gristlebrand and Lil and uh, Aleshnorn. Sure. Bounce my signet. Like you do. Yep. Can't replace signet and cast Choops, so I guess we'll just cast Choops. This is just 
This is just a painful experience, guys. Just a painful experience. Michael's like, I'm, I'm, I'm checked out. I'm going to check my... No, I'll read it later. It check, really my, long. check my commanders. Cool signet. You got two cards left. Did I just get to eat a Tefri? <coughs> or are they going to trade with the the tar pit? Yeah, of course it's a blue card. I foolishly discarded my only blue source because I assumed, foolishly, you that... Foolish uh, fool. Yeah, here we go. You got it. Nope, can't do that. That they would not have Languish and Crux of Fade in a deck uh, against us because our deck looked more controlling. But, you know. Sorry, guys. Sorry I'm being salty. I'm, like, real salty right now, and I apologize. These games have been miserable, dude. Like, I don't feel like this is... Uh, it's not a representation that's, of the deck. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I don't feel like this is representative of the quality of our deck. I think this is just our opponents getting extremely lucky. And uh, five cards. They just drew five cards off of Demon Lord Belzenlock. I've never seen anyone do that well off of Belzenlock. I've never seen a human being draw five fucking cards off Belzenlock. And we hit... Look, we got another mountain to, to go with our two blue cards. All right. Solid. Solid experience. <sighs> Take out one swamp pad, another island. Oh, we're definitely YouTube in this one. The 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 memes on this one alone are worth it. I mean if Belzenlock draws you five cards, it's almost as good as a gristle brand. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's literally five for five, right? Like, instead of seven for seven. I'm going to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this one. Here, hold on. Let's check this one out. I mean, we're on... We, yeah, well, I mean, we have two very good, good plans we're on plan here. X. We've been all the way through the other plans. All the way down to X. Man, Chandra, I'm... Oh, crack it. Oh, what? Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Lord. We just lost that opponent. What? <laughs> they could have activated Tarpon. I add another blue sword. too. I add another blue. I. I feel like I'm living a comedy of errors. Uh, which one is my favorite? I actually haven't looked at. I don't know. I haven't seen all of them. Uh, my favorites in the in the new set go Godzilla arts, uh, comic style arts, regular arts. There's also like full border ones too. There's so many arts. There's a lot of arts. There's so many like, I mean when someone, I, Katie, I think it was, was it Katie that was like, magic seems like Yu-Gi-Oh kind of? Because of all the rarities. There's like gold rare and super rare and hot. No, no, noses trip, nose, nose strips. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, that's a cheer. Welcome. Thank you for the cheer, buddy. Here comes a blue source. A comet. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Just another card. I can't cast yet. Just another card that I... Joke's on you. I'll never draw a blue land, you fucking dummy. <laughs> this is our black-red deck. It's literally been our black-red deck. This is my life. Coligon's command, maybe. Well, that will maybe deal with whatever they sword. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, reflecting pool might as well be a waste. Hold on one second, guys. Hold up. Wait a minute. Derp, 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 derp. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, so they're just throw their own three swaps in that deck here. Yeah, I think we went up to seven blue sources right now. Oh, wait. Post-combat, you're going to play it? What? Sure. You okay? Get out of here, you old biscuit. Oh, Mossy Beard with the... I'm I'm so Bjorking jazzed for Godzilla card. Dude, you and me both. You and me both. <coughs> and I'm just going to Shandy here. If we hit a land. I know I was asking for a lot. So I will... Keep up the rider. Remember when we had Blue Man? Did we put we put Blue Man in the deck, right? I don't want to be. I think I totally forgot. Not oh sure yeah. For Mimi, but you definitely put another island in. Oh yeah, I did that. That was that was a deliberate choice that I made. This is why we kept up this murderous rider as well. Land. Just give me a. a You may now cast him as a man. I don't even know if I want to. Why not? Well, because if they equip something, we're probably going to be forced to languish, so then I lose everything. Oh, sure. Then don't do it. Because you don't have a removal spell in hand, so they're going to just play a guy. We're going to go our turn. They're going to... If we hit a land, we get to Chandra. Whatever. I'm going to play him as a man. <laughs> play him as a man. Cast Rider as a man. <laughs> I think that's one of my funny memes, man. Oh. Wow. Well, it does turn on your reflecting pool. It does do that, doesn't it? I don't think that does what we want it to do. No, but... Oh, Jesus. I guess we'll take Eldest Reborn. So... Oh, God. We attack and they block, we can languish. Toughness X or less, so this is going to cost seven? Yeah, but then we have to sack two permanents. Yeah, it's not good. And we're going to lose one of these guys, so we're losing a, a land anyway. We can electrolyze it. It's true. You just don't want to. I, You know I don't. I think we just take seven. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. This is my life, man. That's why I didn't want to cast the stupid murderous rider. Like, I'm just so tired of Sword and Feast and Famine. Two fucking matches, we're going to play Sword of Feast and Famine? Are you serious? Mm, you can still draw Crux, I guess. <laughs> Affinity, I didn't even clip this, dude. <laughs> Cast Rider as a man. <laughs> Cast him as a man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is when I was getting over my cold, too. Because <laughs> yeah, I didn't even understand what it meant at first. I was like, wait, what does that mean? Cast him as a man. All right, so we got, what, one, two, we got five mana. We can do this for three. That doesn't do much. We can attack, <sighs> sack two permanents. We'll have to sacrifice, like, Murderous Rider land, and then we get to languish and kill it. I mean, we have to figure out, like, we're losing a card in hand anyway, right? So, like, and, like, we're not going to be able to shot her. Like, we're trying to hit, if we don't hit a land, we actually have no, I think we just have to get in there. It sucks. It absolutely sucks my ass. Ugh, crying out loud. And if they don't block, it's even worse, so. I'll just take four or five of them. Like, there's no there's no world where I block this. Yep. All right. That's fine. Cast him as a man! Yep. God, Frexian Obliterator is such a scumbag. Go to the bottom. Yeah, because this also gets the Obliterator off the board and still puts us live for one land to to play Chandra. 
Yeah. Don't sack the blue because you'll never see another. It's true. Plus, also, our blue has incentive here to... Well, now they got five, so they're going to cast. What's the worst thing they can cast for five? I don't know, man. I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure we'll find out. Gray Merchant. That's not terrible. We don't want to kill it as of yet. Land! So, just to be clear, if this was untapped, we could kill it with Finale, because it's four. Or we could Chandra negative four and kill it. Because it's a tap land, though. The second in a row. We don't get to do either of those things. So, that's... That's nice. They just never run out of creatures, so... They played an efficient creature every turn. Uh, if we electrolyze for Shriek Maw and hope to Shriek Maw their Grey Merchant, it's not going to end the way we want it to. Shriek Maw cannot destroy black creatures. I don't know much, but I know I Shriek Maw. I mean, we're just going to have to take a hit, really. Yeah, this electrolyze doesn't do anything for us. The problem is this makes it like if they get to mm -hmm. equip this, it makes it so much worse because then we have to actually negative six Chandra to kill it and Finale can't target it. So it's like. Eater of butts. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, well, thank you for the sub sub. Not even a resub. A regular tier one sub from Eater of butts. I appreciate you, buddy. We can't finale this for toughness. Yeah, I'm on Sonster. I don't know how you're going to... I mean, I would finale immediately if I was able to. I don't know I don't know how we're going to do that. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to electrolyze see what we draw, and then... Like, even if we draw, like, Hologon's command, so it's like... Yep. Immediately equip, I'm sure. Jesus Christ. Because I just want to get ourselves through our deck quicker because we have... Yeah, that's a better card to discard. Because we have a... Uh, Sheldock with a, an Eldest Reborn under it. Oh, boy. Make sure you equip that. You did not. Hey, it's Shriek Maw. All right, we're going to concede the game here because this doesn't do anything, right? Those three like, we could deal with six, but then we just get nugged for five from this idiot. Mm-hmm. And it gives us another turn, I guess. I guess. I mean, Shriek Maw is an easy discard. What does plusing Chandra do? That seems terrible. Then we take eight next turn? Seven next turn? And then they have a... If they ever have a way to sack their dude, we're just dead to that too. Well, we go to one. It's not ideal. Yep, I'll do it for the full six. I'll trade my one Chandra for your Grey Merchant. Oh, uh, they're definitely not going to attack Chandra, I don't think. That seems ambitious. Plus, we don't get their guys off the board, which is a bigger problem. Our opponents had to make no real decisions this game. No, they just, if they got a creature, they put their sword on the creature and attack us. It's really, it's really frustrating. Oh, they didn't actually have a play. That's amazing. N neither do we, though, so, you know. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah. All right, I wish I took the Abrade. Because I didn't know I was going to play against Double Sword of Feast or Famine. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven with signet so seven sources it's not good enough not good enough you actually have eight with signet well i don't count reflecting pool because we have to actually have a land oh sure like if we don't have a blue source we're not getting one I'm just really not on O-Stone because we have Arena, we have multiple Planeswalkers of our own, we have Elder Strayborn. We have to answer the sword. It just destroys us. Take out Alex, take out Arena, bring in O-Stone, bring in probably Heroes, take out Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw's actual garbage. Yeah, it's real bad. Here's Downfall is much better. I mean, I literally attempted to board in one more land. <laughs> <coughs> Downfall? I kind of like shouldered here. Oh, yeah. Downfall was the other card I was bringing in. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's impossible if you get an opener with more than two lands. Yeah, I don't get it either. I mean, if you draw one land, you're in good shape. But again, that's a risk. You're on the play, so it's worse. No, I'm not going to keep this hand. <laughs> I guess this is fine. Get rid of Finale, I'll say. I guess we get born in Lotus for another blue source. I know you saw the tricolored cycle lands, but did you see the newest rare land? That's pretty good. Taps for colorless. Three, draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with power four or greater. Seems real good. A lot of lands you got to sacrifice to do that. Yeah, yeah it's definitely good. Yeah, it's definitely good. All right, so turn two, what are they going to play? Pack Rat? I guess that's actually fine. We got Crux of Fate. Let him go all on a stupid pack rat. Treasure map, huh? Okay. Hmm. I was going to Compulsive. Not anymore. It's a nice utility land. Yeah, a card looks great. Especially in like monocolor decks. Oh, what did we hit? What the fuck? I guess that's why they didn't play anything on turn six. Because they're screwed on green. It's okay. We still lost two. Checks notes. One card, <laughs> sort of, Feast and Famine. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, here we go. Look, they did it. <coughs> mm, that's good hold on let's send this key cast it as a man we can actually negative two here. well but then they get there no we can, we can actually negative two block and play oh i like that it's not bad because then it lets us play liliana next turn that's true we can play her as a man well, not quite i can play her as a man uh land red 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 black 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 
Probably just mountain, right? Okay. Put a creature with a converted mana cost of two. Put this tribe elder into play. I hope. I mean, if they just play another creature and we get to go really on a negative four to make them kill all their guys. The only problems with this is that a removal spell through the Ashiok. Okay, I guess. I guess, Michael, if that's what you're concerned with. Man, this deck seemed great. I felt like we had everything. Consecrated Finks, two Oncolor Signets, lots of good lands, and Ashiok. Chupacabra. Oh, Oracle of Mully Dully. Okay, so basically, we just get to wipe their board. Oh, Grey Merchant? Sure, don't care about that. Um, showing Katie these memes now. Okay, so Ashak gets to live. We get to drop a Liliana like it's like it's hot. Okay, you have no creatures in there. Are you going face or are you going Ashy? I can't tell. I think either way we're blocking. Either way we're blocking. It's true. Their B is so. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna f him in the B right now. Wow. Oh, we can also finale here. Oh, what if we play red cap and just shoot this? I think guess they they pay for it to get it back. Got a lot of options here. Let's figure out what the best. What's Dang the best? Absolutely. So they're gonna—they got a swamp on top. Oh no, we yeah. Oh wow, we exiled the. Oh, we exiled the gray merchant. So they're just gonna draw swamp. That's pretty cool. Unless we plus. Unless we plus. Yeah, Ashiok. Yashiok. Mm -hmm. We did. Oh, we already did. Yeah, that's how we got the gray merchant off the top of their deck. Are you on drugs? <laughs> yes. What are the drugs? Several. What are the drugs? Several. Can yeah. you name name one of them? Uh, Yaus? Uh, I feel like you need another one for your speech impediment, man. Don't know the name of my heart pill. Is that the one that gives you a heart? Because you were born without a heart? No, it's for blood pressure. God, you should eat, you you just it. eat less salt, Michael. That's not enough. Maybe not. Maybe not for you. That does help, though. Oh, no strips drunk. No, oh, yeah, there you go. That can't hit dudes, so that's okay. Did they play the swamp? They did, so that's gone, as far as I can tell. They haven't actually act. I believe the other. I am dead inside. Second pro black sword. I do know the name of my other pill. This is Iprexa. It's really annoying because no matter what, they're going to be able to equip this and get back one of their. That's unfucking. This is unreal. This is just absolutely unreal. Or as they say in the Italian, Alonzapine. Sword isn't really good against Liliana. Makes some sense. Yeah, I mean, it's great because they get to equip it and kill Liliana next turn. <laughs> so I don't really see how it's not good against Liliana. And we can only play one spell in our hand. So, like, we're never getting around this. I mean, Murderous Redcap kills this guy, makes it a 4-3, but that's it. Then what? Like... It come back. Yeah, like, I don't understand, like... And we don't have much <clears throat> mana to Redcap plus Languish. Right. And then Languish is also turned off next turn if we do that. Yeah, you guys are you guys are making it sound like I don't know how to deal with a simple 3-2 that doesn't have Undying. <laughs> if they hit Lily, they don't get the trigger, sure, but they still have... But then we lose Lily, so, I mean, you know... 
Do we play a land? No, but that doesn't really matter because everything in our hand costs four or more and we don't have eight, so. I like making a zombie then languish so at least we draw a card. I mean, I guess. I don't think that does anything. I'd rather just have the body on the board right now. Red cap your own zombie? What does that do? Draws us a card, I guess. I mean, I don't... But how are we killing it twice? I don't understand yeah, what you guys are from black next turn. Yeah, like this is all very. Right, but we're still taking a hit, you know, and like. Whatever, we're Ashiok in here. I mean, I guess we could try to hit K Command, but that doesn't seem. Great. Jesus, they just have to have double pro bl Like, why do they have two pro black swords? Come on. Like, seriously? Language won't work if we kill it because it'll be too big with the sword on it. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll have five power, so we'd have to crux. I mean, I think like I like our only chance being like hitting. Also, if we hit electrolyze, it's not bad because then we get to kill it in response. Watching your bad luck makes me think I've seen enough so I can only see better. Yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. One, two, three, four. I mean, we're just playing red cap here because... I mean, if we hit electrolyze, it's good. If we hit the other one, it's good. Oh, boy. Kolagon's command? That would be the best that'd be the best possible thing we could draw. It's gonna be a land though, so I'm not like super. I mean Ostone seems bad when we got both of these on board and this guy still comes back, like That's true. But like we have literally nothing else to play here, so I'll just play the Ostone. <sighs> also, I play, force them to play a little differently. Exhausting. I'm exhausted. I'm 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 emotionally exhausted from this from this match. <laughs> we can put a count on the ass shock, but I don't know how much time we have. Ten minutes and forty six seconds. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, if we take out the 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 pro greens, the pro the, the the two swords of feast and famine and the sword of light and shadow that we've seen, are these games even close? Like, I, I really don't think so. No, like, we've really literally much. lost both matches to to one sword or another. What 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 is main phase? You're just gonna scry right now? That's interesting. I think they're going face, and they're just gonna get. Oracle back and they're just trying to put a land on top? Nope, no, they are killing Liliana, just as we predicted. Uh, Brady, I think you've actually asked that. I'm pretty sure Michael B is going to be the Michael B when I move to Denver. But you can also be the Michael B. Hmm. There's, there can be multiple Michael Bs. Well, multiple Mikes, just not the Bs. <laughs> just not the Bs. Mm. Huh. Well, because swords can be really bad a lot of times. Like, if you play them in the wrong matchup, they're just awful. And also, if your deck isn't creature heavy, they're also not great. <sighs> T Ravis, 30 months, man. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it, my dude. Okay, so this doesn't do anything but makes this guy a little bit bigger. And then this guy can shooty shoot. Um, I'm still just going to exile. Like, Oh my god, Chandra does exile. That's actually amazing. Magic is hard, but we're figuring it out, guys. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, that card's good. Oh yeah, you ain't kidding. It does cost six mana, though, so... So it might my better way better exile it. Oh wow. Put him in the pooper. P 
Put him in the booper pooper. That guy's gone. <sighs> you okay, man? If you're moving again all willy-nilly, move to Phoenix. It's not really willy-nilly. What? What's happening right now? Uh, we're not moving in all willy-nilly. The, the whole plan was to move to Denver or wherever Katie ended up uh, after her internship was over. Uh, it turns out that is Denver. And uh, I just needed a place between January and July or June. Because we got kicked the fuck out. Well, because they... Yeah, I'm not going to go into that, but... I guess we didn't technically really get kicked out. We got bought out, I guess would be the term. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> we didn't get kicked out, Michael. We got bought out. Why aren't they doing this during their upkeep? Why are they doing this during their main phase? Because they're probably bad at magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Yo, I'll visit you wherever you go, but visiting you in Denver. Chris, please come to Denver. We will have uh, a, probably a sizable enough house that... Uh, you should be able to... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of room, so... Oh, look, they can still pump this guy, so they can make him a 7. 7 I could just crux and kill it, though. I feel like we're actually doing fine now, now that we've got this this sword situation under control. I want to visit you right now. Dude, oh, oh! That's pretty good. You know, it is pretty good. It is pretty good. Chris, I agree with you wholeheartedly, my dude. I'm gonna just going gonna, gonna to keep exiling, because that's how, that's how Ashley Larry... I'm going to keep rolling, 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 rolling. Is that your favorite Limp Bizkit song? I guess. <laughs> You're like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I guess if I had to pick one, is that the My Way or Highway song? Is it the same song? My Way or the Highway. Um, I think that's my preferred song. No, I think those are two different songs. But you know what? It's they been a while since together. I've listened to Limp Bizkit, so it's hard for me to say. Also, our plus is pretty good. Yeah, plus two to give them a, an emblem that they can never get away from. Every turn it gets worse. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly good. You know what's funny? As good as those Trilands are, I actually don't think I'm going to put it in one of my decks. I'll put you in one of your decks. Got him. I wish I had a creature in my graveyard that I can get back. Dude, the times that they choose to the treasure map are so weird. Play him as a man! <laughs> Sometimes I just like to say play him as a man as, a, as just a funny meme and... You know, then we have a good time. We can also finale of eternity these two. Um, well, I'm definitely gonna put them in my Joda deck, but my CDC deck really doesn't want to land to come. Keep Joda, 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 Joda. That's from Limp Bizkit too. You know Limp Bizkit? <laughs> No, man, we've been talking about them, but I have no idea who they are. <laughs> That's weird. I feel like it would have been more. That's crazy. Oh, Masker Worm. That's pretty good. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, and we can Colagon's command the sword too. And then they just lose their gris their tighten it up keep I also get to nug them for five not that one this one yeah I will choose Masakre Worm oh they just they're like I've seen enough I'm a board into all my pro black swords there's only two in the cube and I got them both <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like anger here almost, man. Like, uh, After the sword, there's a bit of a problem. But it does exile their stupid battery man. <laughs> their battery man. I'm your battery man. Everyone man. knows what I'm talking about. Everybody does man. know what you're talking about. He's got a god dang battery on his chest. That is a ba god dang battery man. It might be good. I don't know, man. Are the modern Horizon swords in the cube? No, I haven't seen them. You already took out Shriekma, right? Yeah. Fuck, okay. that thing's terrible, man. I guess it kills Oracle of Moldiah. Port and Gristlebrand? Like, I don't think we've ever seen eight mana. Come on, guys. You know better than that. No. That's not good. Also, doesn't block their creature. I kind of like Rakdos as a return. Yeah, they're not super fast. My way or the highway. Maybe Murderous Redcap can come out? I don't know. It's decent. It kills Oracle. It kills uh, Knight of Evan Legion if they don't have a counter, if they don't have a mana to pump it. Mm -hmm. They take out Ancestral. That seems slow. Plus, we never draw blue, blue mana <laughs> anyway, so. 
The batter skull germ is black, which is the main reason I didn't bring it in. I was just like, eh, nah, about that. I ain't about that germ life. Uh, Construct still seems really good. We get to hit them with their own sword, potentially. Or we can just take their big gr Grave Titan idiot. Gilded Lotus for extra islands? Yeah, that's what, we, that's what it's come down to. Also, Chris, I've been listening to Aesop Rock. It's real good. Listen to it in Jinko jeans. Which album? Oh, I just put them on Spotify and it's just been kind of randomly playing. No specific album. How much would you guys donate to see Mike drink the rest of this Cholula? How much is it? Oof. That's actually not That's that a much. Decent amount. I've also gone through all of this. And a smaller one since I've been here, so. God, I love Cholula. One dollar bob, one hay penny, twenty-five dollars, five bucks. Twenty-five dollars. Hmm, that is tempting. You're like, that's some moving money right there. A crisp high five. No, man, we can't dude, we're we're quarantining, bro. You can't high five people during the quarantine. I pounded a bottle of hot sauce before, not recommended. Yeah, Michael's B hole will be burning. Twelve eh, wiggy doubloons? That's pretty good. One million bazorples. I just want to be clear that this is our opening hand. Classic. But I have this, so I'm almost tempted to keep it. Really? Yeah, because like I think our odds are higher to hit these two colors. God fucking I'm just keeping it. I'm like I don't oh care God. anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm on the draw. This draft is so already a disaster anyway. Well so yeah, like what's cares? the worst that can happen? Will we lose? Does she lose those twenty five play points or whatever? Ten play points, however little it is. Here's Dragon Skull Sun. The man's a genius. I'm pretty sure I said it before it came. He did. Alright, heroes downfall this time. Not the best red black land to draw, but we'll take it. I mean, we don't have any turn two plays. Skeleton and Bazooka Tooth are my favorites. They're amazing. Those are my two friends from high school. Skeleton and Bazooka Tooth. <laughs> Skeleton, not Skeleton. Skeleton. I said it wrong. You don't know my friends, Michael. Swamp? Mountain. Swamp? Sw seven drop. Seems good. That checks out. That'll eventually be good. <laughs> yeah. Mike says as if we're going to live that long. Hey, man, as long as we have an answer to one of those goddamn swords. Well, we don't yet without a second black or a second red, my dude. We'll get there. Well, I appreciate your ambition. Look, it's old Battery Man. I'm your Battery Man, your Battery Man. Turn me now. Double black card. Seems I downed good. an entire ball of wasabi at a bachelor party for $200, and it was the best $200 I've ever earned. Yeah, that would be very uncomfortable, but for 200 bucks, it's definitely worth it. Jesus. You guys are maniacs. Shut up and take my money. Now Mike has to drink the chupacabra. <laughs> Five chupacabra bucks. Michael B. We don't have the chupacabra, so. We'll get it. We'll draw it. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Again with this main phase treasure mapping. I don't understand it. That's not how you do it. I'm pretty sure if we hit a black land here, I think we're favorite. Okay. Well, that's a lot of pressure. That seems worse for us. Take 10, we go to 5. Guys, for my own peace of mind, I'm just going to concede and assume that uh, this entire draft was a fucking shit show and not worth uh, literally anything. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankpour, patreon.com slash frankpour. Uh, cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. Had an article go up yesterday. It was great. You guys should check it out.
and manatraders.com. 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to use that. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, put some Fs in the chat for this, this piece of shit draft. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.